What's going on today, guys? Think I've cracked the code on my personal journey with patina, patina, patina. Let's do an EDC dump first, and then I will get to that. This knife is on loan from Richter Knives. Shout out to Richter Knives. He is really doing the thing. Uh, I love his videos. He's a great guy. I'm going to put his link below. Loves traditional knives. Loves modern knives. Loves all knives. Fixed blades. All of them. He's one of us. Just a great guy. This is his calf pin by Farm and Field. GEC Farm and Field. 1095 blade steel. Uh, not all Farm and Fields have 01 tool steel. They made the switch, I think, about two or three years into making the Farm and Fields. And um, anyways, the newer ones. And I don't know. Newer being the last maybe seven, eight years are 1095 takes a great patina and studying and looking at this knife she is so pretty but um i think i love patina because it's almost like a visual representation that the knife is doing knife things does that make sense so let's put it in other words M my pickup truck if the bed is all beat up and scratched, that doesn't bother me at all because a truck is supposed to do truck things. It's supposed to carry boxes. It's supposed to carry a few scoops of sand to level out the kid's swimming pool. It's supposed to put a shed in the back. It's supposed to have an air compressor, a refrigerator, move your friends, let your friends borrow your truck and they go do truck things with your truck. So that is almost like when you see the bed all beat up and stuff, it's like, that was a good purchase. It's my truck doing truck things. And I think a patina on a knife feels that way too in some sort of way. It's like, yeah, it's a knife. It's doing knife things. Doesn't mean to say that, you know, because your blade is stainless, it doesn't do that. I'm just saying it's like one more layer of cool that I think traditional knives can have. And... I always like didn't know a way to properly describe that. So there you go. I'm going to do a full tabletop review of this knife <clears throat> because I believe it deserves it. This is a really cool knife. I don't want to spoil the rest. It does have a liner lock on it and uh, has a one armed blade opening with that front hook there. And I just think it's a cool knife that should have its own tabletop. And we're going to do that. But I've been pairing it up with this Sabenza. Been on quite the Sabenza kick lately. Not that it's my main knife that I've been carrying every single day. But I carry it a lot. I'd say about 80% of the time it's just the one that I no-brainer grab. And then I grab a traditional knife of some sort. So the Sabenza 31. I am not... 100% happy with this knife and I still never did that video. I think the opening's rough. I'm not completely sold on the ceramic ball embedded on the lock bar to do the interface to the back of the tang of the knife. Again, I'll do a rev not a review, but some of my complaints on this knife and kind of pick it apart. But overall, it locks up solid. I'm good with slip joints, so I'm not like a lock stickler being that like it needs to be the toughest lock in the world. I know that frame locks are not the toughest lock in the world, but they're probably my favorite just because they're so convenient to use. There's a lot of titanium frame locks and just so happens a lot of my favorite knives come in frame locks and it just makes sense to me. I, I am a creature of habit and I love a frame lock. so. Anyways, just the knife is so good as a knife, being the large, fills up your whole hand pretty wide and looks gorgeous. As my friend always says, they're so perfect that they're boring. So I switch it out quite a bit. And I really should do more of these pocket dumb videos because I really do carry a lot of different knives throughout just a week and uh, sometimes per day. Sometimes I'll take just a slip joint to work. I know, sounds crazy, but I had a little bit too where I would just carry my GEC bull nose, which is the like sidebuster pattern, and um, just that to work. 
And then I'd come home at night and we go out to eat, throw the Sabenza in my pocket, and then maybe a Jack Wolf knife for the secondary. So it's like carrying three different knives. I don't know why. It feels right. I have a collection like most of you guys. And it's just fun to carry and use everything. So there it is. Man, I really love this thing. Farming fields are just so cool. I really like this big exposed rivet style pivot. It has an extended screwdriver there. Don't want to give all my thoughts away on this video. I just wanted to say that. Patina, patina, patina. That's uh, Richter's catchphrase there. That and the Lord's drink with his uh, Dr. Pepper Zero. I love Dr. Pepper Zero as well. It's awesome, but there it is. Also, for future videos, my two sons have really been on a Bally Song kick. So I picked this one up. It's not good. I don't suggest it. Uh, they can actually flip Bally Songs, and they say just the balance is wrong. This is the Flytanium UFO unidentified flying object just because it's so weird i thought being that it was designed by flytanium being that it has counterweights in the handle being that they make bally songs knives that it would be weighted properly and it's just not you can barely do most of bally song things you have to think of this as a bally song like object not a bally song and I don't think they ever marketed it as a Bally song to replace your trainer. I think it's marketed to be something different, but I don't suggest it. It was only like $25 or something like that. I've had it. I ordered it before it came out just because it was like 25 bucks. And I don't suggest it. So anyways, they have like machine wise. They have no Bally's. I believe that's how you say it. They're looking at getting an all titanium machine wise. They have the plastic trainer squiddy. They have the other higher end squiddy and um, who knows what they have incoming. So I want to get them involved in the channel just because I think that would be really cool. And I think that some of you guys may like some proper Bally song reviews. I don't know how we're going to incorporate it. If they're just going to be doing the background stuff, you know, as I cut away in and out of tabletop, make the reviews like a couple minutes long. Um, and then have their thoughts on it, what they like and don't like, you know, and uh, maybe compare it up against some of their other ones, but they're pretty well versed in that. So I think that would be a, a really cool way to spend a Saturday too, is just making a couple videos with them. So we're gonna do that. The watch, I don't know if you can see that, is the Seiko, I think it's a five sport on a black band. I don't know if you can see it. Love this watch. Wife and uh, kids got it for me for like birthday and Father's Day combined. Other than that, we're always on the open sea leather wallet. This has not changed for years and years. Green back and the titanium hinder pen. Such a great classic carry. And for all you sticklers... Everything here in this EDC, I am proud to say, I really am proud to say, USA made, USA made, USA made, USA made. That does mean something. It's cool. I get it. I hear you guys. Oh, even the leather slip. Michael Richter, handmade leather slip. I believe this is one of his. If not, he can correct me in the comments below. That's cool. I love USA made stuff. I really do so anyways that's that wanted to shout him out also um a lot more videos coming uh edged mindset has been doing a really cool thing with his channel he has been doing uh reels to some of his individual comments and he's been making like a video every single day i don't know how he's doing it um but just shout out to him i had just left a comment in his video and he shouted me out so um carter's been around the community forever he's never had any beef with anybody that i know of never did anybody wrong and uh just been around for like 15 years or maybe more so 
I he might have had his channel before I even started this one, but it's tough for older channels to get any sort of traction. Uh, I had flirted with maybe opening up a different channel, but I'm just not going to do that. I feel like I could talk myself in and out of it, but I think I just need to make good content that people want to watch again. And uh, the content will speak for itself. I personally hate almost everything I've ever posted. Sounds awful, but I think a lot of you guys can relate if you're really super honest with yourself. Um, I always feel like, you know, you flubbed that word or you should have had a script, but then you don't like scripts. You could have edited this out. You could have made that shorter. Why did you say that that way? Uh, who cares what your opinion is? I think it's a certain type of person to make a video um, where you put the camera up and you're talking to the camera by yourself like you know something. I'm not really that guy in real life, so it's tough for me to like get out there and speak and try to be some sort of authority when I'm just a regular guy figuring out like you guys are. But knives truly are my passion. And I think it's about the only thing that could make me excited enough where I feel like I have to share. So if I go back and really micro -anal analyze my videos and just think about every single word or even your voice or why did your voice crack or why did you take the drink there? Why didn't you look directly at the camera? You were looking at the other side of the phone. You weren't looking at the proper area where the camera is. And um, why did you make a 12 minute video? Like, who cares, man? We could have seen this all in an Instagram picture and had a caption that took three seconds to read. Michael Richter, calf pin, and the Sabenza. Done. All the rest was just wasted time. You wasted everybody's time. So I know that's not true, but it's how, like, when you're an overthinker, that's how your brain kind of works. And that's just how it is. So I'm not looking for any kind of sympathy or keep making videos. I will always make videos. I always have. Um, not going anywhere. I actually have um, a notebook not filled with ideas, but a lot of this does have ideas in it. And then I have notes in my phone of just probably 50 good ideas that I need to make the video on. So just finding the time. I think we're in the slow season now. Again, if you can't tell, I'm working now. I'm in the wine business, but holidays are so insane. And then even two weeks after the holidays, uh, you're still pretty insane because you're trying to recover from everything. And then prices start changing on everything. So the wineries are changing their prices for the new year. Prices aren't lining up at the back door. There's a lot of fires to put out and all that. But I think here about the 17th, we're at the end of, you know, the craziness. And I will be able to make videos like this. These are truly uh, the videos that I do like making. So I, I like the tabletop ones. I like the teardown ones. But if you were to say you're going to have a YouTube channel and you can only do one style video, it would be this vlog style video. They're super easy to make. It's something for me to vent and get off my mind. And I know they resonate a little better with people because, you know, we're kind of all in this thing together. Me telling you about the patina is probably something that you've already thought about. You know, me telling you this Abenza is so good, it's boring. is something you've heard at least from me a hundred times, but it really is. Now this particular Sabenza, and it might be all 35s or it might just be this one. I'm thinking about sending it back. Just has some issues. I'll do a video on that. Again, we're going on almost 15 minutes. Uh, I did upgrade my phone. So hopefully this quality is a little bit better. I know the lighting is kind of weird because I'm in the back of a account right now, but I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I really do love making these videos and uh, maybe I can do some real, some reels to some comments if they warrant it. So anyways, shout out to Richter Knives, link below in Edged Mindset.